Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was supposed to be an unboxing. However, UPS came early and I was really happy about that, but I was still in pajamas. So I couldn't wait. I had to open the box. I just had to. This is something I've been looking for and trying to get for a very long time. It was very hard. When I actually did get this bag, uh, the um, client advisors at Louis Vuitton told me there was only four in the country. My sales associate told me that they are expecting more in the summertime, later in the summer, perhaps August. <clears throat> However, I found it at a wonderful place, a, a Louis Vuitton store, and I met another sales associate who I think is just awesome. And uh, he took care of me and he shipped it right away. And it took, it took actually 10 days to get it. And the, the bag was in the box for 10 days because I purchased it on a Friday. It didn't ship till Monday. And then it took eight days for me to get it. And let me just show you what it is before I go on. It is the very elusive and very beautiful and sought after Petite Noé. Yes. Now, you might not think this bag is for me. My, one of my sales associates does not think this bag was for me. In fact, I, I was looking at it about a year and a half ago, and he said, no, no, don't buy this. This is not for you. Too much for cheddar. He knows me. And then the, the manager told me, this is going to get dirty the first minute I have it. So I was a little taken back and not willing to take the chance. However, I watched videos on it, and then I came to the conclusion that I'm going to use this as a knock-around bag. I'm going to throw it on my shoulder and go out with it and just wear it. And what happens, happens. And that is exactly how I feel or felt until I actually saw it. And uh, now I've decided to spray it with Apple Gardet. And it's, everybody calls it Apple God. I always called it Apple God. However, I called the distributor and spoke to the, the distributor about the product and she calls it Apple Garday. She said, that's what it is. Well, that's some, I, something that I just learned myself. So I'm going to, now uh, Louis Vuitton does not endorse or recommend spraying this. However, in this case, I am not going to listen. All of my other bags I have not touched, but this one, like I said, I want it to be an everyday bag that I don't worry about, and the Apple Garday is going to give me some peace of mind. And I, I've spoken to other people who have done that to their bag, and they have excellent results and no change in color, no streaking, no anything that uh, you would think would be an issue with that. So this is it, and as I was saying, this came with a piece missing, and the piece that's missing is this piece. It's not over here. My sales associate, who, from whom I purchased this, is sending me this piece overnight, and um, it's, it's not an issue. I told him it's not an issue because I'm not going to be carrying this bag for a while. I'm going to... Uh, to see my children in New York for ten, in 10 days from now, and I'm not going to be taking it out until I get home. So it's no big deal, and I really appreciate that he's on top of it. He knew what the issue was, uh, let me know, and uh, took care of it for me without me even being upset about it. So this is the bag. It, I have to say this bag is absolutely weightless. There is no weight to this bag at all. Whatever weight is in this bag is the handle. This bag weighs one pound, 2.7 ounces. Let me give you a close up. This is the monogram. This side leather is approximately the same thickness as the handle. It has grommets that say Louis Vuitton. All of mine are right side up with Louis on the top and Vuitton on the bottom. It has this thick band of vachetta. This is the back. 
That's the bottom. I'm trying to keep it away from me. I don't want my lipstick to come anywhere close to this. I'm keeping it on the, the shortest setting. There are, I believe, five different uh, settings in length. This is the shortest. I'm five foot one and a half. There is a way to tie this so that it's easier than just tying every time you want to enter the bag. You, it's, it's like a pull knot or slip knot. I don't know how to do it, but it is on the internet. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it, but I don't mean the internet, I mean YouTube, which is the internet to me because I live on YouTube. I could, any information you could get on the internet, you could find on YouTube, and I rely heavily on YouTube. I love it. If I haven't, if you haven't heard me say it before, I'll say it again. YouTube is a magical place. Also, if you're thinking of a channel, and I don't mean to divert from this, but it just crossed my mind. If you're thinking of a channel and you're hesitant, just jump in. Nobody was more shy, and if you see my early videos, you could tell, maybe, and Nobody, I've never been in camera. I don't like pictures. I come out horrible. I'm the most unphotogenic person ever. And however, YouTube changes your life. It's, you make friends that you never thought you would have before. Sincere friends. Really, people that you, it's great. It, it, it's a magical place. Do it, don't hesitate. So this is, this is it. I'll show you inside. This has to be stuffed, by the way. I will be stuffing it as soon as um, I finish with this video. This is the inside. I probably should have brought a flashlight, but it's, it has no pockets. It's just the Louis Vuitton brown in here. And it's trimmed in vachetta all the way around. And this is a bag that you would, a drawstring bag. You pull it and tie it and it looks like this. A special note about this, when I put this bag away, it is not going to be tied. I am going to take the handle off. It's not, I'm not storing it with the handle. I'm going to stretch it out so that it looks like this because one thing about the Louis Vuitton canvas. They'll replace everything. Everything you might have to pay to have it replaced eventually, but you could replace all the vachetta, you could uh, replace the grommets. The, once the canvas goes, kiss it goodbye, because that, then the whole bag has to be replaced. So I don't want to form cracks in the canvas, which can happen in, you know, I don't, I, it never happened to me, but I have heard of it happening to people with their bags, not only, not particularly this style, but in general. So I am not going to store it any other way, but wide open like this and stuffed. And this is what I use to stuff my bags. I use a dust bag and I put air paper in it. Now it's funny because whenever I get a gift when some, through the mail and I open it and my husband laughs because I'll open the box and I'll say, oh, air paper. I, this is like more valuable to me than the, the gift that they're sending me. I stuff it in these bags and these bags are so super soft. They're softer than the uh, Louis Vuitton bags, which are here, actually. The Petit Noé, my Petit Noé came with a drawstring dust bag. And it is soft, but it's not as soft as this one. And I should get that the cheddar bottom right back on here. I'm not putting it on any counters. Um, this is softer than the Coach 1941 bags, way softer than that. They're softer than any dust bag that I've ever dealt with, I've ever bought. These are like, if you were born in the 50s or 60s and you had flannel pajamas, this is exactly like it. This is incredible, it brings back memories. It's really soft. And I got it on Amazon. I have it in all the sizes. The sizes are small, medium, large, and extra large. I have a package of each. They're sold 
packages of three. And the, the company is Mislo. Mislo? I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's on Amazon. And this is what you get. And they're about, they range from like four, <coughs> excuse me, four to $17 for a package, depending upon the, not four. Um, you get three bags for about from uh, 12 to $17. I think that's the right. So these, are, I love them. So what I do is I put the bags in here, the um, ear paper rather, or you could use uh, rolled up um, bubble wrap in here as well. And, and this, I, this is how I stuff all my bags. Now, I, for this bag, I would put more bubble wrap in here, but I'm just showing you. This is how you, how I stuff it, and then it will go in to the the Louis Vuitton dust bag. So let me show you some mod shots, and I'll give you all the information. I have it all written down. It's incredibly light, and every video I've seen on this bag, everybody says how comfortable this strap is. It's absolutely comfortable. I'm sure that when I have something in the bag, it will not, it's not trying to slip off now, but I'm sure it will make it even more secure on my shoulder and not slip off. I love it. Just a quick note in case you might have misunderstood me. I'm not advocating that anybody sprays their bag. This is what I'm going to do. People do it. Some people do it. And some people don't do it. I, it is my, uh, my preference to do it. And I'm not saying that anybody else should do that. So please don't do it unless you look into it and you want to do it. As I said, Louis Vuitton does not recommend or endorse that you, you spray your bag with Apple Gardet or any of those, uh, those chemicals that uh, uh, prevent stains from water. I'm just so happy. I was very, can't imagine what I went through to get this bag. Because when there's four in the country and m most of the stores don't answer your phone call, you have to go through, uh, cust um, what do they call it, clients, cl client services, who sends an email to the store, and every in e email that a customer service, customer, cli a client, uh, I don't, I'm sorry, what the, whatever they are called, when they send the email to the store, now one of those stores ever responded. And it, it wasn't easy, but I finally was able to reach someone and I am very grateful. I'm grateful to that person. I am grateful that I have this bag. I'm sorry that I waited so long because I'm not gonna let Vichetta scam me. It's a bag. You know what the, the thing is? The first mar you get on the bag is the hardest. After that, yeah, you're using it. And that has been my experience with uh, injuries to bags that I have. I got over it pretty quickly and just enjoyed the bag. I was, it was almost like a relief. <laughs> well, thank, oh, I'm going to give you the dimensions. Oh, and I have something else. I bought something else today that came too. Let me show you, tell you the dimensions of this first. It is 9.8 inches in the length, 10.6 in the height, and 7.9 in the depth. Now, I was worried that this is going to be too wide for me. This isn't even pulled tight. Do you think this is too wide for me? I don't. I love it. 
I think it is just as wide as my as my other bags that are that are drawstring. And I love drawstring. I'm very partial to drawstring. There's more information about that. This is a a coated canvas. And this is natural cowhide. And this can stain and will stain if you get any drops of water on it. It's, um, it has a textile lining inside, which is means a, um, a material. It is the uh, gold tone, not gold, not gold filled. It's just gold tone, which means it's a metal that looks like gold. Uh, it has a D-ring inside. I would have neglected to tell you that if I didn't read it. It's a D-ring and you're able to connect something like this. It has a key ring. You could connect it on there. And more, for more security, you could connect your wallet. What else? Um, the strap is removable and adjustable. The strap is a 10.2 inch drop, and it, it didn't specify at which adjusting, which uh, hole you use to have a 10.2 drop, but 10.2 inches is perfect. And um, this is $1,400, which is relatively inexpensive for this kind of bag. This is, uh, a lot of people compare this to the Neverfull as far as capacity. And that is all I have on that bag that I wrote down. Oh yeah, the, the, the style number is M, like Mary, 40818. And I'm really excited to have it, very, very excited to have it. So I got two items today that they deliver. Now, this is what I've been using for keys. It is called the clay or key case. Clay means key in French. I have all my keys on here, but we recently got another key. And because I got another key, uh, often when I stick this in here, the zipper lays wonky because of it has to be adjusted just right to fit in properly. So I decided now is the time to buy a key holder. So I bought the six ring key holder, which came today. It's in the monogram as well. I know this is very hard to find now. I was lucky enough to find it. I almost bought it on Fashion File, but I found a store that actually had it. It has a snap closure, and I suggest not doing what I just did, pulling from the end, because it'll flip up pulling it from this actual snap, opening from, from the snap. And this also is made in France. I don't know if you could see it, because I can't, I'm here and I can't see it. So, and this is with the brown inside. And this holds six keys. This bar, you can move it and you can uh, add, you can move it, slide it. I don't know how to do that yet, but you can slide it and you could add or remove these hooks for either if you want to carry less hooks or if you want to uh, put on a key on it easier than doing it when it's all attached. And this piece is $265 and I am happy to have it and I will be using my clay for something other than keys. I don't know what yet but I'm sure I'll be putting it to good use. And I have information on this. This is style number, <laughs> excuse me, M60701. It is three by nine in length, 2.8 in height. It's the inside is cross grain leather. The outside is canvas. This is a particularly, because I've had this before and I sold it mis mistakenly. I have sold so many things that I regret. 
and I'm going to try never to sell anything again because I always regret everything. This one is darker than I remember mine being and it seems very more pebbled, more pebbled than this one or not pebbled, maybe puckered since it's canvas. This seems a heavier canvas, a heavier puckering or pebbling than this. And I just can't wait to try it, to use it. I know a lot of people really love it. I, inside there are uh, credit cards. No, there aren't. I thought there were credit card slats. I must be thinking of something else. But there is something, there is a space in here which is holding where is it holding? This piece comes with everything you buy from Louis Vuitton. It's, it's the information about your product. You can slip things in here, behind here, if, like, uh, let's say, a gas card or something like that. I wouldn't walk around with a gas card or anything of money because it's so easy to lose keys, and I would be very upset. So this is what I got today. How'd I do? I did pretty good. I'm excited, very excited. And this is probably the last purchase I'm going to be making until I come home from New York. So I want to thank you everybody for watching. And I love you guys. I hope you are doing well. And I'm, I have caught up with everybody's comments. And I, I, because I'm getting ready to, move, to uh, go to New York, I will be answering, if you, if you are commenting on this video, I will be answering it as soon as I possibly can. And I want you to, I want you to know how much you, you guys mean to me. You mean so much. You, you really do. I love you guys. Bye, friends. Have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, everyone.